to my channel. So if you guys are new here, then hi, my name is Delaney and I create content all about home, organization, cleaning, lifestyle, things like that. So if those are things that are up your alley, then you don't want to forget to hit that red subscribe button. And when you do that, make sure that you're hitting the little post notification bells on. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And also if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow me more on like a day-to-day -day basis, then go ahead and check out my Instagram. Follow me on there as well. I'll leave my handle right here. It's just at Cozy and Polish. So for today's video is going to be two of my favorite things, which is organization and Ikea. Um, so it's kind of like the perfect match. I am someone who personally loves Ikea. I find all of their products extremely affordable and so many good items there. Lots of good furniture items. But most of all, I really love Ikea for like their organization knickknacks. I just find they're really great value for what you're getting and there's so many different options there. There's so many different things you can do DIYs. You can really get creative there and like pick up certain items for certain projects and things like that. So I am definitely a big advocate for IKEA and I also know it's very accessible around the world. I know a lot of places have access to IKEA which makes me love it even more because I know that it's helpful for you guys as well. So for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite home organization products from IKEA. These are products and items that you can use around your house. It's not just limited to one space so you can use them in your kitchen. You can use a lot of it in your bathroom, literally your bedroom, laundry room, pretty much anywhere. So today I'm just going to be sharing with you guys my top favorites and hopefully you get some inspiration from this video and it'll give you some organization ideas of your own. For my first item, this one in my opinion is kind of a no-brainer, but it is baskets. I love the basket selection at Ikea and I find them super affordable, especially when you compare you know, baskets from other places. So I always like to scope out the basket section when I'm there because they have so many cute ones too and just like they're really trendy and cute. So I use baskets from Ikea kind of throughout my home. If you guys have seen my other Ikea video, which I will link down below, you guys will have seen that I used one of the baskets from Ikea actually for my plant as like a pot holder or like a plant holder. It's an artificial plant, but it just looks really cute. So that would be one way I use a basket. It's not necessarily for organization, but just baskets in general. So I'll share a few that I have around my home. The first ones that I use are in my pantry. I am someone who loves baskets in the pantry. I find it just keeps everything way more organized and looking a lot cleaner and cuter, just more put together. So I have these white ones here. They're kind of like wicker. Um, they were very affordable. I can't remember the exact price, but they were somewhere around like that 10 to $15 mark. And I am in Canada as well, just so you guys um, can kind of gauge that way as far as pricing goes. But I love these ones. I use the one on the bottom here for like all of my like protein bars, all of my bars, snacks. More of like a snack basket, I guess. So I love that. It keeps everything organized in here. And then I use the top basket here for like my onions and my avocados. I just like to have it kind of separated. Um, I just find it makes everything look a lot nicer in my pantry. Another place I love to use baskets would be in the laundry room, but you can honestly take a basket and put it anywhere in your home and it will be so good for organization. You can really kind of utilize these how you want. Then my next item kind of goes along with baskets and that would be bins. I like these ones here. These ones are quite large, but I like them for under my sink. This is actually where I keep all of like my hair products and things like that. Um, my straightener, my curling iron, my hairbrush, all of that I like to keep in this basket. I just find it keeps everything separated and organized. So I use that one there and then I also have one on my fiance Nick's side as well and I like to keep more of like cleaning products and stuff in that one. Um, so you can kind of use these as you want. However, I really like having baskets underneath the sink. I just find it helps with organization and it helps with um, just not letting everything get all cluttered up as that can often happen, especially under your sink. I'm sure we're all aware. I'm sure we've all had that before where under our sink is just a disaster. So bins or baskets, I suppose, underneath the sink would be my solution to that. And then another place I like to keep the smaller bins would be under my kitchen sink. So this just helps keep all of like your cleaners and soaps organized. So as you guys can see, I have my day-to-day -day cleaners in here and then I also keep like my SOS pads and things like that. But I just love having this little container just to keep everything in one spot so it's not all jumbled underneath my kitchen sink and it's not a mess. 
I like to have it all nice, clean, I can see everything I need to grab, so I love that as well. But again, you can really use these little bins anywhere in your home. Personally, I just like to use them underneath sinks or in drawers. Just find it keeps everything nice and clean. The next home organization um, item is kind of like a, a one-off. It's kind of a random one, and this is one I actually picked up just a few days ago, and that is this jar, and it is for olive oil. I guess you could kind of use this for any sort of liquid, but I specifically like to use this for oils. I just find it looks cuter as well. You know what you're reaching for. Um, you can kind of put this anywhere in your home. You could keep it in your pantry, under your sink, wherever you want to keep your olive oil. This honestly could even be left out on like your um, countertops just because it is cute. You could get like a cute label for it, which I plan on doing as well. So again, this one's kind of a random one-off, but I just picked this up and I thought it would be really, really cute for olive oil, avocado oil, whatever we have on hand for oils in our home. So the next item kind of goes along with bins, um, but it would be these smaller bins. So I guess these would be like plastic they're not really bins I don't really know how to describe these but they're these little plastic containers that's the word I'm looking for so these little plastic containers I like to have these specifically for makeup this is just what works best for me however you could really store anything in these little containers and it would be great for organization you could do these in like your bedside table um, and put some skincare items or whatever you want to do but I like to keep my makeup in here that I wear every single day and just open up the cabinet underneath um, my sink in the middle or you can store it in a drawer whatever you want to do and I have all of my makeup there ready to go so love it that's what I use it for but again these little containers you could really use for anything and they're great for organization the next thing would be jars in general so if you go to like the organizing um, kitchen area at your local IKEA then there's oftentimes lots of like clear jars and things like that so I use these big ones with the little top. I call them the boob tops because that's what they look like to me. But I love these so much. They have made my life so much easier in the kitchen when I'm cooking or baking. So I like to use them specifically for my rice and my flour. Literally grab my little one cup measuring cup or half cup measuring cup and just I can easily just stick it in there, grab my rice, love it. Same thing for flour. It just makes life so much easier so you're not going through like the big flour um, bag that it comes in so I absolutely love these big jars specifically from Ikea again very affordable I can't remember the exact price of these ones I picked up but they were probably somewhere around that $10 mark so they just make your life so much easier when you're baking or cooking and I am all for that so love those the next thing is something that we all have in our home but I really love these from Ikea because I find them again really affordable and cute. I picked up this really cute wood utensil holder, love this, it was super cheap, I think it was around again like 10 bucks and I like to keep all of obviously my spoons and forks and knives and things like that in there. I just find this is like the perfect size, I don't like them when they get too like big and clunky personally and I'm not really a fan of the plastic ones either. I just like the way the wood one looks and I believe there's a few different sizes of this you can get as well. I like to keep all of my basic utensils at the bottom. In the little top area I just like to keep my can opener and my peeler. And then the next item kind of goes hand in hand with this. It's not a utensil holder but that's what I personally use it for. So there are these very um, shallow containers. So I like to keep two of these in the drawer underneath, like my forks and things like that. And I keep all of my larger utensils in here just to kind of keep them separated and organized. This has been another game changer that I never used to have in any of my previous homes. I would just have like a jumbled drawer of utensils and it would always be so annoying trying to find the one you're looking for. So these are really nice to have. I just keep like my bigger um, spoons, my spatulas, potato mashers flippers, things like that in this drawer, but I really highly recommend if you guys don't have any super shallow containers to separate your larger utensils, do that because I promise you it will be a game changer. So the next item I want to talk about is actually a furniture item. It's the only furniture item I'm going to be mentioning in this video and it is right beside me. It's this guy right here. I don't actually know what like the correct name for this is, but essentially it's just this little cube with the drawers in it so I like to keep all of my desk items in here this is like a staple I've had this for so long and I continue to use it you can also use this on its own or you can put like a desktop on it and use it as a desk 
there's just so many different things you can do with this and I just find it's really handy to have because you can keep so many different things in here. Um, back in the day when I was really into makeup, I would keep all of my makeup in here, but now that I've scaled back on makeup and I'm not as into it, I just like to use it for my desk. But so many different things you can do with this. Again, this is a really affordable piece of furniture. I believe I paid around $100 for this total, which is really nice. One of my tried and trues, one of my favorite furniture organization pieces that I've had for years and I love it still. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it gave you guys some organizing ideas. I know I am someone who is all for making life more simple, you know, easier, and that's what I find organization does for me. It really does just make my life a lot easier. I like to have things organized so I can just grab whatever I need without hassling through things and without a bunch of clutter. If you guys did like this video, make sure you do give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below as well if you guys have any other organization ideas for me because I'm always looking for new ones. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.